looking at how we can make a isometric set square. Now, there are different types of set square. What makes an isometric one is that this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees. You can get ones that are 45 and 45, but for doing an isometric drawing you need 30 degrees at this end. You are going to need a ruler, a pencil and some scissors. You need a sharp pencil because the measurements you are going to be doing have to be very accurate, so start with that. You'll also need some card. Now, for the card, you can use any kind of box that you've got left over. Um, a cereal box is probably quite a good thing to use because there's a lot of available card there. And really what you want to do is open this up to a flat sheet of material. You will find there's a seam down one side. You run your finger down that, open up the cereal box, and there you will find another seam on the bottom, and you've got a decent flat sheet of card. Now, you could use some thick card, say from a bit of packaging. What you do want to make sure is that you're using one that has just the single corrugations that you see here, not the piece that has double corrugations that you can see here. So once you've got your card, get it flat on the table or desk wherever you're working and cut out a big section that you have available. Once you have your card flat on the table, start by drawing a line along the bottom using your 30 centimeter ruler. Go the full length of the card when you do this. And put a mark at either end just in from the edge so that you can see it. Now the measurements we're going to be using are as follows. From the corner mark, we're going to be marking in 100 millimeters and 58 millimeters up. And from the other end, we're we'll marking in 40 millimeters and going up 69 millimeters. What you can do is pause the video here and keep this as reference so you can continue. But I'm going to work through and show you marking it out. So the first mark you do is 100 millimeters in. Now you can work in millimetres or centimetres, it's entirely up to you, I prefer millimetres. Marking 100 millimetres in, the next mark is 58. Put a little dot where that is, take your ruler away, put it across, just go back and check that is 58. From the other end, you're going to mark in 40 millimetres. And then going 90 degrees to this line, perpendicular, measure up 69. Again, put a little mark, take your ruler away, put a cross, check that is 69. And these are your two main markings. Once you've got these, you want to join up from the first mark to the first point and extend this line past it. so and here from this point to this new mark extend that so so that is your basic outline that is now 60 degrees in this corner and 30 degrees in this corner once you've done that cut it out Now it is worth you marking this 
just so you've got it as a memory that this is your 30 degrees this oops, is your 60 degrees and here you have your 90.